Right now, it's the best of Groucho. It's Groucho Marx. In You Bet Your Life. Brought to you tonight by Lever Brothers, makers of blue liquid whisk, the full range laundry detergent. Whisk is the liquid way to your cleanest wash. And Pepsodent that cleans more effectively, polishes more protectively than any other leading toothpaste in familiar carton or handy new push button container. And here he is, the one, the only. <laughs> Well, you can relax now. I'm here again with a chance for each of our couples to win as much as $10,000. And if any of them say the secret word, our duck will come down here and pay him an extra $100. This is the word right here. Now, before Groucho meets our first couple, we have some important business to take up. Uh, Groucho, uh, Lois Wright Bootson and Antonio Capasola are waiting to talk to you. So, folks, come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to Wonderland. Say the say, I mean you bet your life. Say the secret word and divide an extra hundred dollars. It's a common word, something you find around the house. Lois Bootson and Antonio Capasola, eh? These are aliases, if I'm any judge of <laughs> aliases. Do you have any objection to giving us your age, uh, Lois? Oh, of course not, Groucho. I'm 28. 28. Where are you from? Uh... I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh -huh. Fort Wayne is a very nice little town in Indiana. Yes, it, it is. It was named after Mad Anthony Wayne, who fought quite a few battles with the Indians there. Oh, and with his wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, your name is uh, Antonio uh, Capazzola, is that right? No, no, Capazzola. No, Capazzola. Capazzola, huh? No, 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 no. Capazzola. You know, it's, it's in... Capazzola. No, 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 no. It's a mean something to this name. Capa mean head. Sola mean alone. No, no. It's Italian, you know. Yeah, Capazola. No, no, you say wrong. <laughs> You're not so hot yourself, either. <laughs> well, what part of Japan are you from, Tony? <laughs> what part of the Orient are you from? I don't come from Japan. You don't? No, I come from Italy. You come from Italy? Yes. Well, will you want a round-the-world cruise from no, Japan? No, no, no. I come <laughs> from Benevento, Italy. It's a... Uh, in uh, Nicasert, Napoli. I see. And your name is Capazzola, is that no. right? Capa Sola. All right. Capazzola. Now then, what was it like in this little Japanese village? Well, I mean... <laughs> Mr. Grouch, you make a minestrone soup? You mishk everything up. <laughs> the only kind of soup I make is clear broth. <laughs> Are you married, Tony? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's nice being so unhappy about it. No, I, I am happy. It happens to everybody. No, I am happy. I am happy. You're happy? Oh, that, yeah. 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 How long yeah. have you been married? 35 years. See. Are you as happy now as you were 35 years ago? Sure. Sure, I am. More. More, huh? Yeah. How did you meet your wife? I was in the hospital. Uh, she was learned to be a nurse. She gave me a bath. That's how I meet her. <laughs> Those, I like those formal introductions. <laughs> but she gave you a bath when you met her? Yeah, but uh, I, it's the I old, can't... old story, Tony. 35 years ago, she gave you a bath, and she's been sponging off you ever since. <laughs> what was the reason you came to California from Japan? Well... <laughs> I don't come from Japan. I come from, you know, near the way you come from, New York, you know? Oh. But you said before you came from Capazzola, Japan. No, no, this is my name. My name is Capazzola. My name is Capazzola. It's, uh, no Capazzola, Capazzola. You say it. Capazzola. See, she said right, see? Yeah, but she's from Fort Wayne. That's the way they talk in Fort Wayne. <laughs> Maybe make a difference. Why did you... Uh, no, of course not. What is the reason you come to California, Tony? Well, you know, New York, you have a lot of snow, you know? You Somebody said to me, well, why don't you go to California? So I come to California. Suppose they just said go to Alaska, would you have gone there? No, I don't go over there. I don't want no more snow. But do you always go where somebody tells you? Well, 
I don't know. If you do, you better get a suit of asbestos. Hmm? <laughs> now, what about you, Lois? What kind of suit do you suit? Yeah. <laughs> Soup made out of minestrone. Minestrone soup yeah. or soup? A soup. How, uh, are you married, Lois? Yes, I am, Groucho. Oh, well, how did you meet your husband? Well, I met him in San Francisco at the beach. Oh. I was there one day. Gave and... you a bath? Uh, no, Groucho. Uh, it was far off in the distance. I saw this strange creature with flowing hair and a long beard standing on his head in the sand. And I became very interested. Well, naturally, I knew. <laughs> Well, how did you know it wasn't just a clump of seaweed that got washed up by the tide? Well, I had to go a little closer since I'm the kind of person that wants to know what makes people tick. I had to find out what was happening. I what, said... Well, what were you doing on the beach while he was standing on his head in the sand? Well, I was leaping around practicing my ballet, Groucho. Oh. <laughs> and, and so and I... you thought he was strange? <laughs> he wasn't standing on his head in the sand, Lois. He was burying his head in the sand. <laughs> Now, Tony, let's get back to you. How long uh, did you say you've been married? 35 years. Do you have any children? Oh, only 13. <laughs> Isn't that an unlucky number? No. I'm Why not. did you pick a number like 13? Well, we have one, then we think it don't cost too much to have another one, so we keep it go, that's all. <laughs> what do you do to support this gang? I am organ grinder, Pacific Ocean Park. You're an organ grinder and you support 13 children? Yeah. Well, that's what I call a pretty tough grind. Yes, sir. Do you have a monkey that works for you? Sure, I have a monkey. I have six monkeys. You have six monkeys? Yeah. And do you carry pictures of the 13 kids and the six monkeys around with you? I'd like to see them. No, I don't have no pictures. No, I don't carry pictures. Your pocket isn't big enough, huh? No, no, I don't have any pictures. No. Well, what do you do? Have you got any way of... Yeah, uh, I have a monkey in the back. You got a monkey in the back? Well, yeah. turn around. Let's see it. No, we in the back of here. Oh, in the back there. Yeah. Mm. I've got a monkey backstage too, you know. No, I have a real monkey. I no, make George. It. No, make it believe. <laughs> this is no make it believe. Oh. Would you mind bringing out uh, the gentleman's monkey? No, I you, get you. Go get I go your, get for get you. Get your own monkey, huh? <laughs> what do you think of that uh, fellow having 19 children? How many children do you have? I have just one, Groucho. You have one. Five-year-old huh? boy. Oh. Hey, hey! Just a moment there. What's up? That monkey resembles me. <laughs> yeah. What? He look like you? He's got a black mustache. Well, he looks exactly like me. A little, he's better dressed, but uh, there's certainly a strong resemblance there. He only look like you, but you watch this. That was very good, and he deserves a reward. Here, you give him this, eh? You can give him it to you. He, you can hold him. He like you. He like everybody. I don't like anybody that looks like me. Here, you look here's, nice. Here's you are a nice 25 uh, <laughs> I think you got a very talented monkey there. Uh, That's a good boy. You have a pocket over here, over here. A pocket. Oh. Everything you put in the mouth to go in the Was pocket. So? Well, can he shoot it in the side pocket? Then? Yeah, he's over here now, see? <laughs> see over here, see? Oh. Watch. See? Thank you. Oh, I put it in my pocket now. That's a very talented monkey you got yeah, that's there. That's a good boy. But I want to tell you, if he gets any ideas about starting his own quiz show, we'll hear from my attorney in the morning. Now, if you'll take Junior back, <laughs> we'll get on with the quiz. Somebody's always trying to make a monkey out of me, and this time they succeeded. See how you two can make out in the quiz. You know anything, Tony? I don't know nothing. No. <laughs> well, you better know a lot, kid. You see, uh, you selected the location of famous international landmarks. I'll ask you some questions. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win a thousand dollars. Now, in what country would you would you find uh, Mount Fujiyama? 
Maybe a little of Japan, maybe. Japan. So it's, it's, it's his old country. He ought to know. No, 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 no. I say not too much. You ask him something tough, like about Rome or one of those cities. <laughs> I bet he wouldn't know anything. You have one right now, Tony. In, in what city? In what city is the Triborough Bridge? I don't know, maybe some Rajiks, I don't know. Well, come on, give us some kind of an answer. Guess, if you don't know. Venice? Oh, New York City. You have one uh, wrong now. Don't get the next one wrong, or the game is over for you. In what city is Westminster Abbey? It's England. It's in London. London yeah. In London, that's right. Now you have one right again. Now, the Bastille was a landmark of what city? Spain, no? I think it was in Spain. Okay, try. Paris. Paris is right. You don't have two right. Uh, in what city would you find the battery? The, the battery. It was in New York. It yes, New it York. still is. It was there. <laughs> it's still there. Well, you're almost there. Get the next well, one right. It was, a, it was in New York. Yeah. All right. In what country do you find the Kremlin? Uh, yeah, that's right. It's in Russia. Moscow. It's Russia. in Russia. Well, that's close yeah. enough. That's and you've done fine, and you've won a lot of money. How much? One thousand dollars. You got four in a row correct. Thank you. Now, just a moment. <laughs> You won $1,000 now. You can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later at the end of the show and try to double your money. You may even get a chance at five or even $10,000. So go over there and sit down and think it over, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Groucho. Arrivederci. Now all this hilarity stops for 60 seconds while we all find out why wash days have become whisk days. We have a pair of uh, young single people to meet you now, Groucho. They're Kishori Singh and Eddie Shaw. So, folks, you in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. It's a common word, something you see every day. <laughs> Eddie Shaw and, and Kishori Singh, is that right? Huh? Kishori. Kishori? Oh. Yeah. Kishori? Uh... Singh. Oh. Where are you from, Kish? I come from Pakistan, India. From Pakistan? Yes. Oh. Didn't we have somebody on the show last year from uh, Pakistan? Yes, my brother. Oh, your brother? Yes. Pedro Gonzalez? Is that your brother? <laughs> no, it's Kuldeep Singh. Kuldeep? Kuldeep Singh, yes. I remember him very well. As he was a very big hit on the show. Too. Oh, he say... He How is he doing now? Oh, he's doing wonderful. He say he can never thank you about you, you know, giving a, a chance. He doesn't know how to th uh, Thank repay you. me. You repay you. Well, has he ever thought of sending me some money? <laughs> <laughs> well, when he makes it, yeah. Is he in sh show business? Oh, sure, he is. He make a contact in nightclub on television and on all oh, I forgot already. Well, uh, the record, something. Uh, you not much impressed with his success? Oh, you? I do. I am very much. I am. Not it's because I'm his sister. No. But he's very good. Do you know that? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> I'll play along with you. Yeah. Well, I'd like you to. Yeah, I'd like to play along with you. <laughs> if we can only get cool dip out of our mind, that's it. <laughs> now, your name is Dinah Shaw, you say? No, Mr. Marks, Eddie Shaw. Oh, Eddie Shaw. Well, Eddie Shaw in a storm is what I always say. Now, where are you from, Eddie? Originally from Buffalo, New York, Mr. Marks, and... Oh. But my folks, they couldn't go that cold weather back there. I was snow and blizzards and things, so we came to sunny California. Mm -hmm. Well, has it been hot enough here to suit you? Uh, you live here now? Yes, we do, Groucho. We live in uh, Torrance, California. You live in Torrance, huh? Well, doesn't the rain come down in Torrance? <laughs> <laughs> That's an old joke in Torrance, yeah. Mr. Groucho. <laughs> well, don't forget that a, an old joke in Torrance is a new joke around here. <laughs> Is Southern California living up to your expectations? It sure is, Mr. Marks, especially seeing how Hollywood is the entertainment capital of the world, and I've always wanted to become an actor, so mm -hmm. it's great. Well, it's a wonderful profession, acting, especially for people who can't hold any other kind of job. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get this, first get this age to, for the histrionic career? Well, actually, I think it started when I was around three or four years old when I... Really? You wanted to be an actor then? 
Yes. Is that so? After I left my, the, after I saw my first movie, I think it was Pinocchio or something like that. Why don't you ask me about them? I want to be an actor then. Yeah. I'm going to get around to you in a few minutes. <laughs> And, and when I get around to you, I'm never going to ask him anything again. <laughs> well, I don't mean to be that way. No, but I do. <laughs> do you say you wanted to be an actor ever since you saw Pinocchio? Well, it was one of those movies when I was very young, and I came out on the sidewalk, and I said, Brother, this is for me, and I... Who did you say this to? <laughs> well, I think it was, must have been my mother. <laughs> You mean when you were three years old, you didn't go to the movies alone? <laughs> you went with your mother? Well, it was kind of a long way from the house. Oh, <laughs> and you said, brother, this is for me, to your mother, huh? Well, the slang back in New York. Oh, well, Kishore, let's get back to you. Huh? Oh, fine, I was waiting. Yes. <laughs> well, how long have you been in this country, Kish? About a year. I'll call you Kish, huh? Oh, fine, people That call isn't me. too familiar, huh? Well, how did you know that people call me Kish? Well, I didn't, but I assumed that if your name was Kishri... You're very smart. ...the abbreviation could be Kish. Oh, well, fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't call you Sam if your name was Kish. <laughs> How do you like it over here? Let's put it that way, yeah? Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, the way that people you know, are so democratic and... You know, all the towns, you can't even get the money out. You know? The only town... <laughs> Kish, I don't know what you said, but you just earned yourself fifty dollars and fifty for well, thank you. Richard Mansfield over here. All thank right, you take very it away, much. Doc. Huh? Good night. No, okay, so, there's no use fighting with him. He's not coming back again. I hope he does. No. What are some of the differences that you find between the Pakistan and the United States? Oh, it's the the way that the, you know the the teenagers and the people that are so wonderful, you know. Well, Not because you gave me the money, but it's because they are nice and yeah. Well, how are the teenagers differ from the teenagers in the Pakistan? Oh, well, didn't I look much older? Do you look much older? Yeah. Then well, what? Well, teenagers in India, they, are, they mature uh, uh, early, you know? They mature early? Yeah. Well, how old do you have to be in Pakistan before you get a switchblade? What does that mean? <laughs> A knife that opens up in both ends. I don't know. I don't understand. No? You don't understand it? Well, they have to be about 16. To get one of those knives? I don't know what you say, but I think 16. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you had some exciting dates uh, since you've been here? Oh, ooh la la. You sure? I don't. Ooh la la. You tell me of Mindy and you keep talking French. Well, I'm sorry, but I try to... This is my escape in English. See? Sometimes I want to think, and I say, ooh la la, and then I think. <laughs> well, what happened? You say you were out with an American boy? Well, with what teenagers, happened on this date? like me. Teenagers. So I thought, you, you know, I, I thought, you know, I am older than they are. So when we went to eat uh, in a pizza place, so you she... went where? Pizza. Pizza place? Yeah. So uh, my girlfriend and I was sitting down, and he split the pizza in his head. <laughs> well, I don't he put a pizza uh, pie on his in own his... head? Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, and he he, he just wanted to get an Italian haircut. That's <laughs> Well, I don't know about uh, Italian, a uh, haircut, but well, I know about the pizza. Worse. He might have put the pizza on your head. Huh? Oh, no, he can dare do that. You can't? Why not? Because I always keep my, my place. <laughs> well, I don't understand that, but it's all right with me. Uh, well, we're even now. Ah, uh, yes, we should. <laughs> This hasn't been one of my best nights, I must say. Oh, oh, no, no. How, how old are you, Kish? Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half, huh? I was thinking, you know, I might arrange a romance between you and Eddie here. But he looks like he's in his forties. <laughs> how old are you, Eddie? I'm nineteen, Groucho. Nineteen, huh? Are you any good with a pizza pie? I mean, <laughs> do you have any of these kind of romantic attachments? Well, I've been going steady with the uh, undertaker's daughter for the last <laughs> year and a half or so. I dare you to break that engagement. <laughs> I assume you want to use our show as a stepping stone to success. As, uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Is that right? Well, that's right, Mr. Marx. Yeah. This is the biggest break that's just, happened. Just call me Big Daddy, huh? <laughs> now, what kind of an actor do you want to be? What, what can you do? Well, I can do anything. Well, how are you uh, as a dramatic actor, Eddie? I think I'm pretty great. Yeah. Well, oh. now, look, you don't have to be modest up here. Just say the, <laughs> what you say. Could you ad-lib a brief love scene with uh, Kishori here? 
Pretend yeah. you just met her and you've fallen madly in love with her? I guess you don't mind, do you? I don't mind, no, I don't think so. <laughs> well, let's see. Well, let's get something that resembles the Park Bench. Yeah. Would you bring out a couple of years? George is busy rehearsing his own show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're in, a, you're in the park now, and the moon is shining, and there's nobody around except a cop. But he's, uh, he's down at the next corner, and he has no idea what's going on. Now remember, you're madly in love, Eddie. Now fire away. It's warm. <laughs> I think so. That's a great opening, all right. <laughs> This is going to be a weather report, not a love <laughs> Though I've only met you but minutes ago, I, I feel myself falling in love with you. I don't know what it is about you that I'm falling in love about. Maybe it's... I can tell you. <laughs> I love your hair and... Don't mind me. I'm interesting. <laughs> I love you. I love you very much. I, I feel myself just falling head over heels about you. I, I can't get you out of my mind. I... Why don't you slap it with a pizza pie? <laughs> <laughs> but what if they do, you know, those teenagers? May I put my arm around you? You already have it. <laughs> no, he meant the other one. I'm already confused. I don't know. I didn't know you were in love with me anyway. I well, know. I don't know whether it's probably the movie. Move over, kid, huh? <laughs> I love you. You oh. can't get anywhere with him. I spoke to a girl in the front row, and that's his girl. Oh, and she's burning up down there. And you know what her father is, don't you? She's an undertaker. Girl. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. I'd get out of here if I was. <laughs> well, they'll be married in 24 hours. <laughs> You're charming youngsters, I must say, and it's been refreshing talking to you. Now, let's see how well you do in the quiz. All right, now, you selected cities and small towns of the United States. I'll give you four cities or towns in a particular state, and you identify the state. Hello. Hello. If you miss two in a row... <laughs> What's the idea of sneaking that in there? <laughs> If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Are you ready? In what state are these places? Woodbine, Savannah, Macon, and Jasper. Woodbine, Savannah, Macon, and Jasper. I'll take a guess, Eric. I think it's Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky? No. It's wrong. You know Savannah is in Georgia, don't you? You now have one wrong. Don't get the next one wrong, or the game is over for you. Take it easy. We're not making love now. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, they, they You're not going to make anything if you don't win some money. <laughs> now, what state are these cities and towns? Grundy Center, Davenport, Leon, and Waterloo. Could I have it once more? <laughs> <clears throat> what do you want? Grundy Center or the rest of them? I wish I was American, you know. To Grundy go Center, and... Davenport, Rhode Island. Oh. Eddie, you better take up an acting career. I'm sorry, you got two wrong in it's a row. It's Iowa. The whole state is full of Iowans. You, didn't you know that Davenport and Waterloo were in Iowa? Well, I played. I'm sorry you missed two in a row. You're such nice kids, and uh, we don't want you to go away broke. I'm going to ask you one more question for $100. I wish I know this one. Yeah. Well, you have 100 already, haven't you? All right, are you ready? And no help in the audience, because this is tricky. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Me. You will be if his trail gets a hold of you. I'm sorry you didn't win more, but thanks anyway for being on the show. You bet your life. Okay, thank you. You were a real cute kid. Thank you very Goodbye. much. You know what she is? She's a Pakistani in Zsa Gabor. <laughs> that means our first couple can try for the double chance at five or ten thousand dollars tonight. We'll know the decision after these words from our alternate sponsor. Uh, Tony Capasola and uh, Lois uh, Bootson, would you come out, please? Give us your decision. 
Well, you've won $1,000 so far. If you decide to try for the big money and you fail, you wind up with a total of 500. Now, what are you going to do? Well, we have both decided to take what we have and be very happy with that, Groucho. Well. well, thanks anyway, and yes, lots of luck you. to both of you. Thank you, Groucho. How about that, you? Groucho Marx and You Bet Your Life has been brought to you tonight by Lever Brothers, makers of blue liquid whisk. The full range laundry detergent. Whisk is the liquid way to your cleanest wash. And the active soap for active people. New Spice Fragrant Life Boy. The finest deodorant soap in the world with Purilin Plus. Your satisfaction guaranteed by Lever Brothers or your money back.